We want to warn you this next story involves a graphic and troubling image. A Laurel County family is heartbroken after their beloved dog Scruffy found shot to death yesterday on the side of the road with an arrow in its back. As ABC 36's Diane Gerstenfeld explains, the family just can't wrap their head around why somebody would do something like that. The Allen family is dealing with the unimaginable. It just takes someone that's mad or just thinks it's a joke, you know, to, to do something like that. It's not a joke. Their dog Scruffy had gone missing and was found dead Tuesday on Highway 1023 near Merrimack Church with an arrow lodged in his back. He was good with kids that never try to bite nobody. And he was mostly her dog. Oh, that dog just loved her. He loved all of us. And I thought the world of him too. Scruffy filled a hole in the family's heart. They took him in shortly after losing another dog. We had a Jack Russell and uh, it got killed. And this dog just came in from nowhere and he put me in a lot of mind to that little dog. The Allens say Scruffy was an outdoor dog and many in the neighborhood knew him well. He was friendly. I mean, he was a good dog, but he just, he roamed in everybody's yard and drove my dog nuts. But neighbors like Mike Sitter say it should never have come to this. It's just sad. I mean, it's, it's pathetic. I mean, why stoop that low to do something to someone else's dog? The Allens still can't understand why someone would shoot their dog, and they hope whoever did this learns their lesson. Who did do it? I don't think they had much of a heart, you know. In London, Diane Gerstenfeld, ABC 36 News. A local nonprofit group called Justice for Abused Animals has been advocating on behalf of the dog and the family. A $200 reward has been put up for information about who shot the dog. We have all that contact information on our website. WTBQ.com.